Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video. My name is Adam. And I'm Taryn. And we're here to talk about Rain Absolute, which is on Kickstarter. Right now. Mm. So this is a card game made by an Australian company. Yes. And we love to support Australian companies. They're very this cool. Sort of yeah, so there's good. so much out there. Yeah, it's um, Adam Walker Studios, and he started up a, a separate company to do this thing. It's uh, the Square Mile. Mm. Um, yeah. So this is the first, and they're going to do more, which is yeah. exciting. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to have to break my Kickstarter non-addiction thing and, and go and get this one. <laughs> it's good. So really this good. is the preview box that they sent us to have a look at. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I really like it. I, I think yeah. we finally made it. We got yeah. a preview box. This is cool. Yeah. So this um, is a game for two to four players. Yep. It's card game, but it's not a trading card game. No. No. So each each of your little factions are, are complete. They're a thing. You don't have to buy boosters and junk. Yeah. Um, they recommend ages 13 and above, but I'm... The, the rules are pretty good. You yeah. Can, uh, younger people could probably figure it yeah, out. Too. Really easy to learn. Yeah. Really easy to learn. A little bit of maths and you're fine. Yep. No problems. So let's um, have a look at... So you get four factions in this box. Okay. So yep. there is a human empire, human raiders, you've got elves and you've got orcs. So the premise of how the game plays is the same, but they've all got their own little flavor. Yeah, they've all got little, little bits and unique. pieces that they do. Hmm. Um, there's also, we got in here as well, uh, Dwarves and Undead, and I think there's going to be others, but have a look at the Kickstarter and see what he's up to, because mm. um, some of them play really, really cool. Um, so it's basically just a grid-based thing. You, you pick your faction, and you're putting your cards down one person at a time, and you will be moving. So nobody sees what that is. So all you see is the back. They've got a little little dude on the front and you move your little dudes around and you try and kill the other guy's little dudes and you have to find the liege the king yeah um, so much like sort of like chess you know you take yeah. out the king and that's it you win the game yeah the the one that reminds me of is stratego but i'm i'm old so you know when you're 110 you remember the old games but stratego <laughs> was very similar to this very similar um and then you once you've you've moved things around, you get a crack at putting some reinforcements. So they'll give you um, things that you can do and like extra strength and that sort of thing to bump your units up, and that makes them harder to kill and easier to kill other things. Um, so it's good because when you actually put the cards down, they're face down. Only you know what you've put down for your yeah. faction, and you can have a look at any time. That's not a problem. Yeah, you have to look a lot. And with the reinforcement cards, again, only you know what they are, and they all have different abilities and things like that. You yeah. put those under. You draw one, and you put one under one of your cards that are in play. It just beefs it up a bit. Yeah, it's and like a beef. Yeah, uh, you, you've got that that little bit of extra buff to to say a smaller unit that will help it take out one of the other guy's smaller units that you remember was over there, but then you can't remember what this unit was, so you can look and it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really easy to learn, but it's surprisingly tactical. Yeah. It, so you, you're, you know, we've played a few games and it's really fun. It's really fun. You can bash out a few games after, after a war game or something and have some fun with it. Because yeah. it's sort of quick to set up and things like that, if you've already, one of the things I like about it is that if you've got a game organised but not everyone's here yet, you can just open this box set, off you go. Yep. You know, just you play some quick games and then anyone who wants up, you can just keep adding as you go, that sort of thing, yeah. start another game. Um, we point out that these are, because it's a preview box, I mean, it's not going to look like this necessarily when the Kickstarter's finished, mm. okay? So the, I think they're planning on doing an actual book for the rules. Doing it, yeah. Yeah, so there'll be some more examples of yeah. play and things like yeah. that. So Probably different finish on the cards, all that sort of thing. Check it all out on the Kickstarter site. Yeah. But I wanted to draw attention to the, the art because the art is... It is amazing. It's gorgeous. Yeah. There are a couple of artists that were part of this. They've done a lot of work for Pathfinder. Yeah. So the Pathfinder RPG, and I love some of the art that's on that. It's amazing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's really, really nice. It's lots of detail. So, beautiful. Really, really good. You have to have a have to have a squeeze at their site, and you can see all the people who worked on the art. But yeah, it's it's there's some really cool stuff in there. So this is the box that they sent us, the preview box. So it is a lot bigger to hold the amount of cards that they give you, but that's because. 
the, basically the idea is you get the expansions, you can put them all into this box. So you have all the things in sections in there. Yep, yep, so it keeps them all nice. Yep. It will be big enough to allow you to sleeve these cards as well and still fit in there, which is a good thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. there are some manufacturers that they don't take that into account with their games. <laughs> it's strange. I always sleeve my cards. I always yeah. think it's a good thing to like do. Everybody I know always sleeves their cards yeah. now. When you, when you get stuff like this, you'd be looking for the nearest sleeve to that and you'd be chucking it in a sleeve as soon as you open the box. Yeah. Um, Especially for like Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Yeah. You want to look after that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, want to yeah. use it, but you want to be able to look and after A lot of the card um, Kickstarters that I've, I've looked at and backed because I'm a Kickstarter addict, um, a lot of them have had their own sleeves. So, I mean... Maybe they'll do something. They make something for this. Yeah. If not, yep, they are, there are other companies out there that have something to match these. You can cards, always find so sleeves for cards. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, as a first impressions of the game was very good. <laughs> the quality of the cards and the art was excellent. Yep. Yeah. The gameplay is fun. It's it's a little funky to learn at first, but that's the same with every game. But once you've played half a game of this, you know what you're doing. And it's just that trying to remember where your cards are thing that yeah, messes with my head. Playing against the Orc was actually quite interesting because their yeah. reward can change, their liege can change. If you actually take out the liege, you don't actually kill them. Like you yeah. actually if move the card orc. to someone else and they take over just as an Orc would. So you yeah. take this this Warlord card and you stick it on top of another Orc. And that's and it. It's like, you keep going. Yeah, keep going. You have to grind through them. So, <laughs> yeah, and the downside is that everybody knows where your liege is. So it's like... Yeah. But it's cool. But it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So it does have some really good mechanics to it. Um, I like it. I really like it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So if you're looking at this Kickstarter, um, consider backing it. Because I, I think, I think I'm going to like it. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. I mean, we've got a preview copy. We do. Too. I think I want my own copy yeah. as well. I think we'll go play a game. Yeah. I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. All right. See you later. Take it easy, guys.